hundreds of electricity workers protested at the offices of the Port Harcourt Electricity Distribution Company, challenging a change in employment policy. The workers claimed that they had been indiscriminately sacked. Here are the details of the report. As early as 7 a.m., the workers locked the gate, preventing all activities from taking place in the company. The union leaders accused the PHED of sacking over 150 members without due process. The protesting members of the National Union of Electricity Employees also accused the PHED of undermining opportunities for dialogues. They say the electricity distribution company boycotted all meetings called to address the problem. First January 2021, they sacked almost about 150 staff. First, good new year, good, good, uh, good uh, happy new year message. We, do, we don't know whether it is a, a, a sad new year message to over 150 families. No offense, not in energetic workers, productive, very, very uh, productive workers that are working to produce the money the company is using. Addressing newsman, the managing director of Port Hackett Electricity Distribution Company, Dr. Henry Ajagbawa, dismisses all the allegations. Ajagbawa says most of the workers claim to have been sacked or unfit to carry out their duties. When you have a company to run, you need workers who are able and fit to do, to do the job. If you have linesmen, and that's a critical part of our, of our job, we need linesmen to be able to climb the pole, right? To be able to string our conductors and get things done. In management, we call it fit to roll. They are no longer fit for the role they play. So we decided, amongst other things, that those guys need to go on retirement, early retirement, because they are unfit. Retirement age is 60. Now, if you are 57, 58, or thereabout, and you're no longer fiscally competent to do the job, there's no way we're going to keep you on our payroll. Now, this is the second time in four months that the PHED has been picketed by the National Union of Electricity Employers. The first was when the electricity workers accused the PHED of refusing to sign workers' condition of service and procedural agreement. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.